Well, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, hopefully you have enjoyed the last couple of uh, harvest videos. We are rained out. We got about three inches of rain the last couple of days. So we are going to do one final grain bin update. You'll have to excuse the wind. Uh, very windy today. As of this point, the grain system is fully functional. Uh, I'm not saying it's 100% complete, but it is fully functional. All the electrical is done. Um, all the piping is done. Everything is ready to go. Actually gonna go in the control room here to get out of the wind and list off some thank yous of everybody that helped make this project possible. I'm gonna do it at the beginning because I feel like it is important. This is the most scripted that this channel will probably ever be. Uh, so if you see me looking down, I did write down a list of people that I wanna thank. I didn't wanna miss anybody and I feel like it's important to talk about each one of them. This is by far the biggest project that we have ever done on our farm operation. We started thinking about this last year, about this time around harvest season, we saw a need to expand our grain system. It was our bottleneck. Um, it took a lot of planning and it took a huge investment to get this to where we are today. I'm just gonna kinda go in order of how things went um, as far as the timeline of events, uh, starting from early in the winter time to where we're at today. First and foremost, I gotta thank my dad and my uncle Doug for investing back into the farm operation uh, in this system. We surely wouldn't be standing in this building today if it wasn't for them. Uh, believing in the next generation and uh, having a system here that we can farm with for the next 30 plus years. Next is gonna be the guys at Hotch Stetler Grain. Uh, they're the guys we use to order all of this stuff. We sat down with them uh, before the start of the year, uh, December of 22. We started talking with them and figured out what we needed and we ordered everything and then they are the ones that installed everything that you see out there. So a huge thank you to those guys. There's too many to list each individual name, but if you guys are watching, you know who you are. And then early in January, before I started this channel, we had to haul in a tremendous amount of fill dirt to build this site up to the elevation that we needed it. So I got to thank my uncle Ron. He was a huge part of that. He, we got the dirt, he set the grade, um, ran the bulldozer, flattened out the site, uh, did a ton of work with water management. Um, we have water that flows down this way and he helped curb that. And so we're not flooding out this electrical building or the pits or whatnot. So a huge thank you to uncle Ron. Next is going to be Knuth Excavating, my uncle Ron's company. Uh, Dwayne, Rob, and Nick, they hauled a lot of dirt, they ran a lot of equipment, and they sure helped us out a lot. Next is going to be the concrete crew, Lexlow Contracting. They poured all the concrete that you see out here. Uh, they did a tremendous job. They're, I'd love to know how many trucks worth of concrete is out there, but those guys are awesome at what they do. And last but certainly not least, the guys from Hein Electric, uh, specifically Steve, Jimmy, Dan, and Stacy. Those are the four guys that were here every day working on all the electrical. These guys stepped in, it was about August 1st. Um, things didn't work out with our original electrical contractor and we contacted them. They stepped in, took on this project and really helped us out. Their work is absolutely immaculate. They did a tremendous job. We couldn't be happier. So huge thank you to Hein Electric. And that's all the thank yous I have. Like I said, I put that at the beginning because I felt like it was very important. This project wouldn't be what it is today without all of those people. So thanks again. Obviously we're standing in the control room, um, but we'll just kind of go around. This is our 110, 220 electrical panel. This is what powers the lights in here, the lights outside, some different stuff. That is actually a step down transformer because in this panel here, we have three phase 480 volts coming in to feed all the motors and the dryer and all that stuff. So that transformer steps it down to usable power for the lights and receptacles and all that good stuff. The power from the power company eventually will come in here. 
Uh, right now it is coming from a 500 kW generator that's sitting out there. So we'll go take a look at that when we're done in here. Uh, this is going to be, that's the touch screen for the dryer that will control everything. This is the, basically it's a cell phone modem with this antenna here and that antenna will ultimately get mounted outside, but it's just there temporary. That will allow us to uh, remotely monitor the dryer from phone, iPad, whatever, so we can be out in the fields and see everything that that dryer is doing. You can do every function that you can do on this screen except start the dryer. Those are just big disconnects. Uh, this one sends power out to the dryer. This one sends power to that transformer to send power to that. Then in this cabinet here is where all the magic happens. So in here is where all the computers, uh, the all of these here are variable frequency drives for the motors out there so we can customize RPMs, speeds, um, just makes it very versatile. This is what amazes me the most. The guys that did this, the Hein Electric guys, uh, that's just amazing. It blows my mind. And we have two control switches here. This is for the two fans on the big storage bin. And then this is for the two fans on the wet storage bin uh, for, for wet corn. Coming around this way, this is obviously all the generator cords and the generator is sitting right out back here behind the dryer. We're going to use four 1,000 gallon propane tanks to feed the dryer. So we got those in place and they have the line trenched. We just got to get that hooked up to the feed right here on the dryer. And then this is our power plant for the fall. Unfortunately, the power company did not get us the power. So we are going to power it with this generator. Like I said before, it is a 500 kW generator powered by a 755 horse Cummins diesel motor. And then there's a 600 gallon diesel fuel tank on the front. Then inside the bin here, these this is just one of the temperature cables that goes in the bin here. And each one of these little green things on here is a sensor that will monitor the temperature and the moisture of the corn once it's in the bin. There's 12 total of these with, I believe there's over 200 sensors in this bin. Then we'll walk over here to the control box where all of those sensors get fed into. This is the uh, AGI bid and manager system. Uh, it's got a outdoor weather station there. And then this will automatically control our fans um, based on weather conditions and what we want it to do. We'll be able to open up a uh, phone, iPad, whatever, and see exactly um, a picture of what's in that bin. Not really a picture but you'll get an idea of moisture and temperature so you don't get a hot spot in there we'll automatically turn the fans on if you need it to um, it just gives you a lot of peace of mind with that many bushels in one spot and then last this is our outdoor control center basically will control the function of almost every motor out here there's some functions that the dryer will control itself but like starting the leg, the pits, um, that kind of stuff will take place right here. Like I said before, this is the last update. We are ready to use this when the corn allows us to. Uh, we're about 28, 29%, so it won't be long uh, until we are able to use it. So you guys have seen the whole thing, uh, starting with the concrete being poured for that bin there was the first video or one of the first videos I put on this channel and then stacking the dryer that's back there and then everything in between. Last fall I sat in a semi truck a lot of hours thinking about how we could improve this and make it better and it didn't seem possible at the time and here we are um, almost a year later standing here looking at the completed project pretty awesome 
you guys will see a lot more of this especially once we start corn harvest but wanted to give you one final update so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one